They're not school this video. Get ready with us. Well, Get ready with me. You train with me. Yeah. Oh, I look well pale. Look how pale my face is compared to my body. Fix the. We go we'll fix that. Because <laughs> she doesn't give me content, I just give it to her. <laughs> me to <laughs> off and stay on my own channel, and that is also fine. Welcome back to another video. I feel like recently I've been filming every video with Erin beside me. So yeah, today Erin's in another video of mine. We're actually not having this video over on Erin's channel because every other video we've done, like our drive of us, our Zara picking each other's outfits, it's been like a collab video on each channel. But today, um, something we don't really touch on that much on our channel kind of thing is like getting ready. <laughs> We don't really get ready. And um, we're not like huge into makeup. We prefer being natural as we can, if we're honest. But we're just gonna answer like questions which I've asked over on my Instagram again, so make sure you follow me on there. And also while talking about Instagram, follow Erin. Name. Um Kiss underscore Erin Carter underscore kiss. Yeah. Is that it? So something like that, yeah. yeah. Just gonna do like our makeup, we're not like going anywhere fancy honestly. I'm filming another video after this. Oh well, yeah. I've got no reason for looking like this. <laughs> but I asked on my Instagram anyway. Basically ask questions for Erin to ask me that you're like too afraid to ask your sibling. But yeah, I've not really seen the responses. But we're also just gonna yeah. chat. Start now. We've like moisturize our face and stuff, but I'm still gonna prime. Hang on, this is quite a good one. It's the first one I've seen. Are you jealous of each other? <laughs> No. It's a bit weird. Why would you be jealous of your sister? I think if you... I mean, there's like times you're like, oh my god, your figure's so good, but I won't go to as far as saying I'm jealous of, like, you have a problem against each other. No, I feel like jealous is like... Different. Is like a thing where it's like, oh, I want that. Like, why? Like, yeah, jealous is like you hate them for like it. I jealous is like a nasty way. You can be like envious of someone. By the way, I'm gonna... I put this all over my face and it might look a bit weird, so... I blend what it in my it? foundation. Just like a highlighter. Um, That's cool. The Clinique one. I feel like envious. Uh, yeah. Like you said, like if you chose figure, like I always say, though, like, oh, like I wish I had your figure, or like, like so along those around. lines. But jealous, like no. No, I'm not jealous of each other. That's just because uh, that's just weird, isn't it? Family. I'm not like, jealous of like anyone in my family. Obviously, like I'm just don't think you should be jealous of anyone because like everyone's different and. Yeah, you shouldn't focus on other people more than yourself. No. I don't think. No. And like we always say like with like figure wise, like being jealous like that. Like I always say to like me and you have different goals. Well we do and we don't. Some like, things figure wise. Yeah. Yeah. No. Jealous is like you don't support each other because you're jealous as well, which is what we don't do. No. I wouldn't comment on our Instagram photos and she wouldn't comment on my video just. No. So. <laughs> if you, the person who put that, I don't actually know who put that. The person that said that, I feel like if you're asking that, are you like jealous of your sister? Or like, like I don't know, I feel or like. Or do you come across that we'd be jealous of each other? Even yeah, if no. you were doing something where I was like, oh, I wish I was doing that, then I'd just Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't be like, I'm not supporting you because I want to do it and you No. I would say like, Erin said on the Arkham Drive of us and touched on the fact that if one of us would do well with um, YouTube or Instagram or whatever, like we'd make sure the other one got opportunities that we also had. Yeah, like we wouldn't like I wouldn't, with it. Yeah, like if I don't know, like if Lola has a contact for something that I want to do, then obviously she'd tell me. And yeah, if vice I, versa. Yeah, vice versa. Some yeah. things I'd say Erin is a lot more to do with like being like in, like influencing on Instagram and how to get in contact with things. And if I'm interested in what she's doing, because I don't really like know much about that, then I'll ask her and she won't be like, mm -hmm, but you didn't like, really try and find it, so I'm going to keep that to myself. No. Like, I feel like um, with stuff like, especially with YouTube, linking into jealousy, like when Lola first started doing YouTube and obviously I wasn't doing it, I was a bit like, oh, I wish I could do that, but I'm too nervous, wasn't I? I was like, yeah. when Lola first started her channel, I was like, oh, I want to do that. But then I would, if I came up with an idea, I'd be like, oh, Lola, you should do this for YouTube. But yeah. I'd just never think of doing it myself. I'd no. probably say when I was younger, no, I wouldn't say I was jealous. I'd probably just say I'd like, I'd say I was jealous, but I wouldn't actually know. I'd be more like, what you say, envious. I wouldn't ever hate on someone because they've got something that I want and don't have. No, I feel like if you want something that bad and you're like jealous or you feel like some kind of way about it, then you can work towards whatever you're like jealous of or 
whatever you want that someone else has got like why can't you have it you can i was made for everyone yeah if you work hard enough like that person if they've got say for example if you're jealous of someone's car like if you're that jealous or it bothers you that much um Can't as long as like you go in the right way about it then you can say if you can work hard you can get the, that car or whatever it is that they've got I feel like you should never start disliking someone for something they've got yeah because they've I mean, worked like, for it they've yeah. not just got it well some people might just get things some in people life. do just have things like handed to them but like that's a completely different situation people get given things on a plate that others work hard for something like that yeah don't compare yourself to someone like that anyway still shouldn't be jealous because you should be proud that you work for yours yeah i'd much rather work for something than have something handed to me i feel like a lot you never of people learn in life that. no we are being treated to stuff in life but not like we've just been like we deserve it so like we've not. yeah we've not ever been like oh well i should be given that yeah who do you think is the favorite kid do you want to know who asked that Oh, Natalia. I did you? Know? <laughs> um, Who's your favourite? No one. I remember um, growing up, I was used to say you was. Only because go away you used to get away with more, but only because you were younger, I feel like. Everything like that I couldn't get away with, Yeah. because they'd already been through that age with me, then it was then you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because um, like you, you not the trial run, but you experienced yeah. it. Yeah. Experimented it. Yeah. I remember once when, like, if I didn't answer my phone while I was out, like, my mum would feel oh, mom with me. Oh, mum was like that with me. No, but then I remember one time you was out, much younger, um, you didn't answer your phone for ages and mum was so stressed out and I was like, oh my god, like, what the hell? It is but scary though, like, I've been, like, with mum at times and obviously you've been with mum at times when yeah. you've not answered or I've not answered. But then... Like, instead of, like, being like, oh, you can't go out next weekend, you still could. Like, you didn't get that as shouted out as I would have. I, no, honestly, I don't think they have favourite. Like, they've not, it's not obvious. I feel like the parents even have favourite. Some probably don't. It's tight, if you know. Some probably... I think at times when, like, I get shouted out, you get shouted out, you're like, oh, Lola's such the favourite. Yeah. Or such the favourite, yeah. but in, we're not. When we were um, younger, Lola used to, like, lick my mum's arse, didn't you? Yeah, like, proper. Like, like really bad, like... If, like, she was shouting at me, so Lola was like, Yeah. So then she was definitely But I think Mum knew point. that I was such like an arsehole. Yeah. I was favourite at that point. Mum was like, good girls. Like, Sidekick caught. Yeah. I feel like it's always been more, not anymore really, but like we said when we were younger, you were more like, took Dad's side and I'd take Mum's. Yeah. I feel like that was just because... I was so, like, glued to Mum. Yeah. And I was like, someone's going to stick up for Dad over here. I was a bit tight like that. Sorry, Dad, if you're watching <laughs> I've just thought of something I can ask you, but I'm going to ask you a question first, so. Okay. Um, how do you do, how doesn't your skin peel? I, it's fit my acne cream, I think. Like, you see my nose, like, I can't ever do makeup without my nose peeling. What? Oh, <laughs> this girl's asked it like it's me asking you. Oh. Do mum slash dad ever bitch about me to you? <laughs> like, do mum and dad, I feel like that means like, like, so like oh Erin's like does this or like no probably to each other about us yeah they probably do probably not like no to be fair I like, feel like us. they wouldn't even do that they'd just say it to us well if they've ever said something to me about you which isn't like bad because because they just wouldn't they end up saying to you anyway yeah like, say if they are oh, Erin just left a dish in the in the sink yeah then, you'd come down and they'd be like you've just left us <laughs> yeah yeah definitely I know what you mean especially mom like. Stuff like that doesn't really bother dad. Are you sure? Are you sure it doesn't bother dad? Actually, it does recently. Yeah, it does. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna say because so yeah, I've like spilled oh. a bit of like paprika sauce on the side of the thing, and he's gone. Oh yeah, I know. I had that. Bitch, I don't know. That's a bit extreme. But do you want to know something? I want to ask you. I'm gonna. I'm not. This is not like. Yeah, it is asking actually. Obviously, do you know like when obviously I was bigger? Yeah. Well, you um, weren't big, but I know what you mean. Did you ever think, like, oh god, Erin's a bit fat? <laughs> huh? No, not like that, but like, you know, like, obviously, you've even said I now. think you've big that up in your head, like, it, we've said big about 12 times in the last minute. Oh, yeah. That, I always thought you thought, like, the family, or like me, or mum and dad always thought, like, like, Erin's big. Yeah. But I didn't ever think like I have a fat sister. Ever think like say if I wore something, I've or never something looked like at that. us and think like we have completely different figures. Like you've always thought, I whoa, like we're completely different body shapes. But I've never like honestly never thought that. I see. I think that now. I think we're completely different body shapes. No, now. no. You must just have I don't know. 
do feel like if anyone else has ever been bigger, yeah. you do sometimes still you just think when like you put see yourself as how you used to look. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, if someone was like, if one of like, someone was say like, Erin, and then they went, you know, the one who, like, yeah, like, I described I was definitely the fat sister, but I mean, that was, to be fair, see, no. I would have still been the fat sister if I wasn't as fat because you was tiny when we were younger. When we were younger, younger, yeah. But then. I said they grow out of it. <laughs> no, but you've just grew into your body. Like, did you ever think, for example, like when I was in a bikini on a holiday or something like, obviously because through the year you wouldn't see me obviously in a bikini. Did you ever think like, oh god, Erin's quite chubby. Like Erin's gone quite fat. No, but I remember a time in, that's nice. It's oh, it's a mix. It's a mix. In Mexico when we were in that, um, you know um, I mean? yeah, yeah. that restaurant and you walked out and you were like, so upset because you felt big. I, I never understood that. Yeah, like no, not that I've ever not understood the feeling, but I didn't exp I didn't understand why you're so upset because to me, like I was just like. But then, when you look back now, my body's completely changed from. Well, that. yeah, obviously it's completely changed, but I still don't understand why you were like so upset about how you look. When, like you're bigger than you know you should be. You feel ten times bigger than what you look come across to other people as well. Yeah. No, but have how you ever thought about it? me at a certain point? You're probably gonna say no now. But to what? me, like, there has been definitely times when I've, like, put on weight. For example, when I started the pill, first time I went to Mexico around that time, I wasn't big because I put on weight after we came back off Mexico that time. But, you know, when I was friends of, like, yeah, like, around that time, and I'd go, like, the kebab house and things, I just felt like, I don't know, I had, like, a really, like, I was not just... Yeah. I thought I was just, I could eat what I want, and, you know, when, like, people say, like, even if it's for, like, a week, you go for a stage when you're just like, no, I can do what I'm invincible. Yeah, that was um, me when I first started college. Basically, she was tiny and she was eating what she was wanting and I thought... She's not anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, that wasn't me being nasty, but I mean, Laura just said she was tiny. But that just that was just me saying, like, like no you... one can just be tiny forever. I don't no. feel like you can't just get just away with catch up forever. eventually. Well, if others are doing it, I've never been the type to eat, like, go to the kebab house at dinner time and lunch. No. But like, in school, none of us were like that. Like, so many people did, but none of us did, did we? Yeah. Like, we'd go with them. But wouldn't eat from there. Yeah, and I did go for a stage. I can't. I have a picture because it's in my memories of a day. But it was around. It was once I remember, and um, we came home from Mexico, and Granddad said, but I wasn't offended because Granddad was saying I looked healthy, and we sat in the garden, and he went. Granddad oh, always used to say that you look healthy. Yeah. Yeah. He went. I like you, you, your face is filled up a bit. Like you look like really better for it. Like you look healthy. Bearing in mind though, Lola was at the age at this point where. You like growing into your body, weren't you? Yeah. But didn't you ever think like, you, because you were saying that you felt big and you thought everyone thought you looked big. Yeah. Did you ever think, oh, Lola might be growing into my figure now? Like if you no, thought that. No, never, ever, 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 ever thought that. I remember always thinking like when I was bigger at one point, because I was obviously two years younger than me. Oh, maybe she'll look like me in two years. Like maybe we're just meant to go this way. And then she still did. And I was like, mm, maybe in two years she'll look like me. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, she still doesn't. But honestly, what? I feel like if people have never met us, but they're watching this, because people, I think, who have met us, obviously, not like we're anything special, but pe our mates, like, I think they, they wouldn't look at us different. Like, they'd look at us the same, especially now, the shapes we're in now. I think if people look to meet us that haven't met us, they'd just be like, I don't know what you are about, about you. Yeah, but do you know what people say to me a lot, which can be so frustrating if... You look, you're so skinny. God, you're so naturally like slim. Yeah. You're just lucky because you just look like that. Don't, I'm not in the like, camera. I'm not lucky at all with my body. I don't feel like any, I'm not saying my body's anything it's like great. It's like people but... just expect you that you're lazy and you're just doing Yeah, people just go like, oh, you're just lucky though, aren't you? And I'm like, are you joking me? Especially if they know us. Thinking I couldn't be less, you've got to be honest though, I couldn't really be less gifted with my Yeah, I'd, you've tried hard. Yeah. More than, well, I couldn't, most people. No, yeah, but you you train hard and you do everything hard, but you would still look half like like you basically just now train to you. Lola's basically more gifted than me oh. looks because like growing up and stuff like that. Clearly, you was more you could get away with more than me because we didn't eat that different. I had a really, faster, younger way. metabolism. Yeah, it's not the same obviously anymore. But I think a lot of people just think because I've been smaller when younger, I don't think it'd be easiest to keep weight off now. You. I feel like you just didn't let yourself ever get bigger. Like, yeah, maybe you wouldn't have put it on like me would anyway. 
but now if you was to go back like if you started like getting into a bad habit of eating you could just put yeah. weight on but now yeah i'm more i think purely because when I'm you were educated. younger you could get away with it but also i think i couldn't let myself like you couldn't let yourself go big now no but um more now as well and i don't i don't say i've always been like this at all but i don't know i get this feeling before well, before i like put on majorly weight and when i up my calories that like, something in me says like no like, like, if i was to stop training i wouldn't eat as much and like i wouldn't i just obviously like it, it just works like that i wouldn't ever let everything go no me neither. like i've always been quite strict minded and that's not being us being like vain or anything like that that's just being you've got to understand like stuff like this isn't just physical it isn't just a physical thing like it's not just the way you look it's the way you feel i couldn't let myself go bigger just for how much i know it affected my like head just not good to get into like a situation of let yeah it's good to let yourself go if you really want to but i don't like letting myself go that much no, you don't do no. you treat meals off plan meals whatever you want to call them that we enjoy but then we also enjoy getting straight back on it the next yeah. day like we always say we love holidays and like we kind of when we go on holiday we are so well i associate it with food and we both do pretty yeah. much it's like our t well we train all year round for our holidays like bikini body all year round our focus is <laughs> but like, we absolutely love letting go on holiday for like two to three weeks yeah because I mean we deserve it like in that last week you think oh like i could stay here obviously don't want to go home but yeah. this food has to go back to normal now i'm not going train on holiday but i always feel like as soon as i get home i always feel like i'm never letting myself go like that again yeah. um food wise even though i know i've enjoyed it so much and i deserved it because i don't work all year round like on my body and on myself i have to track my food on holiday like, why would i do that you're like this time though when i go to jamaica we're obviously all inclusive so like you can have like whatever you want whenever you want we're accessible and obviously no price because <laughs> we've already paid for it before we go it's my first holiday where i've been fully counting calories do you know mm -hmm. before i go i've done it in the past before on and off like you were saying about spain weren't you obviously you've only got two months when you come back for that yeah like we're going to spain in a few weeks and um when oh, I that's get scary because oh. I can't even imagine being in a bikini right now. Me neither. Okay, camera died and I ran toilet, so I just thought I'd just wait. I was gonna say, like we were saying with um like counting calories kind of sets a routine. Oh, no, no, no. Um we were saying when walking into town, even if we were to delete our uh, my is that close enough? I should tell yeah. it over. Even if we were to like delete the app and not count, we'd still like in our minds, like without yeah. even like noticing, have a limit. Like we kinda know without even tracking where we stop so i think like even when like you're not tracking it's kind of hard to it's push a good lifestyle barrier. isn't it to get into yeah not even just counting your calories just getting to know what calories are and like what like you really educate are. yourself yeah like how many like how much proteins in certain things how much fat sugars carbs like we were saying weren't we as well before we were talking about a few things in town on the way before yeah um like those things that i was saying to erin like I didn't realise how much carbs were in apples and stuff. Yeah. And Erin was like, yeah, like we need to keep telling things if you find stuff that's good in carbs and that. Some people might find it so crazy that we're saying good in carbs. We mean high in carbs. Like, yeah. some people think, like, carbs. oh, God, <laughs> don't have carbs. Me and Lola have loads of carbs. Yeah. So good for your body. And believe it or not, we're avoiding increasing our fats by doing that. So people think with carbs come fats, but no. Me and Lola both eat chocolate every day. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. Like sugary things, like pink and pink and whites and things. Like I had fizzy belts last night as well. Mm -hmm. Chocolate raisins, our favourite. It's just so much way nicer to live than, like we can carry this on until however old we want to. I said to Kieran the other day, I can't imagine ever not doing this now. I know that sounds so sad to some people. I, I have been I in and out of it. I enjoy it. I absolutely, like I love it. Since the day I decided, you know, I'm going to count my calories, I haven't stopped since. Like, I've obviously had my days where I've been like, you know what, today's a cheat day. Like, I'm not even in the mood. But I've never been off it for more than, like, a couple days, Matt. Like, sometimes, yeah, you do need a break from it because it's not good to feel so obsessive over calories. I'm not saying that. And it works. And why Why would you not do it? So much diet that you can eat what you want. Yeah. Obviously, you're going to pay for it somewhere, but... 
but I that's always your choice. feel like with this, I don't need like a, a cheat day or like anything like that. Because no. if I want something, like like the reason we're having what we're doing on the weekend, like I'm having a pizza. And you're to be fair, to this weekend I'm going to a restaurant. I'm but they're open Chinese. now, so yeah. why not? Anything that you might come across a struggle or you dislike is, but it's with every other diet. It's not just calorie counting. Like you don't know the calories in the meal you're getting. No. But we know ways around that, and it's literally just easy as a click of a button. It's, it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, I don't know the calories in that meal, so I'm not going. I would never no, say that. No, never say Life's that. life, so you've still got to live. You should. You shouldn't base your life around it. Definitely not because. This looks like a button me. We love food, so why would we not like enjoy it? My but, skin's um, peeling, so if you can see that, just just ignore. People probably thinking you're wearing more makeup. Which is probably a good thing, a bad thing, but it's because of swap, so. You don't but. need makeup at all. Yeah. Well, no one you did. You did your very quick though, like. Yeah, this is, that took long for me as well. The other day, I did my I did this makeup in seven and a half minutes. I oh, I like that. that. I like that little palette a lot. Eden got it, me. Oh, that's very, oh, Violet Vars. Yeah. Oh, I like it's that. really nice. Okay, so thanks for that for my birthday, Eden. Or just doesn't like makeup a lot. Yeah. Neither do I to be fair. I've worn makeup probably really nice. more in lockdown than I have like in not in a normal week. But that's only for filming and stuff like that. I don't feel like I need to put makeup on for filming, but I just feel like I'm more Recently ready I've made more of an effort with filming like look wise than I ever have. But um I think that's because of blood spots more. Sometimes it gets me more motivated as in I feel ready. Not that I look ready. I'm actually filming um a week of workouts after this but oh yeah yeah it's like makeup so i won't be sweating because the reality of filming that is i'm not actually working out i've already worked out this morning i'm really going with my lips out and they really don't need to be bigger also i really want to do a video on my channel and you can even be on it um and ask you a few questions about filler and stuff like that because i'm not saying i'm the filler expert i don't know but i've had my lips done twice you put it on and you like your channel now my channel knows this oh yeah yeah. Um, I haven't got loads of filler in my lips. You'll ever see the day where I get mine done? No. I don't think you should. Mind. I don't want my you to. My lips have aged. I literally don't like you get your lips done. My lips have aged through lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like second time I had them done. Sorry. Key down. They don't even look that massive on there, but lol, weren't they massive? Yeah. I felt I like. Really do you know when Chloe Sims went through that really, really, really like a lot of filler yeah she's had them dissolved and like corrected and that now but they went like they looked wired this way and it was nothing to do with the woman that did my filler at all because she's amazing at filler like if i'm if i go to anyone for anything it will would always be her just did obviously what i asked but i don't know if it's because ever since i had my lips done the second time i really noticed my um what they called smile lines. Yeah. So I just feel like my advice on that is you're if you want something done, really, 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 really think about it because yeah, they say you can get it dissolved or it dissolves after so long, but it doesn't. It really yeah. doesn't. Your filler doesn't actually dissolve because where would it go? Think about it, where would it go? Mm -hmm. Dissolve to where? Apparently it just moves into another f part of your face. But obviously when you've had it first time, it's filled that space. Yeah. Filming, and like I'm just like filming it like a vlog style, I take this clip about t 10 times just because of my lips. I literally haven't even looked like I haven't even. Your mm. eyelashes look so long. It's ever since LVR, like honestly. Yeah, I LVR would all the eyelashes if you've seen her video. Yeah, my spider um, video. They've literally, they've like, literally grown. So, so long. Yeah, oh God, and they've never... Eyes, yeah. And I get big on YouTube. When will we get big on YouTube? Like, if you ever do a uh, meet and greet, I feel like, because everyone always comments on photos and videos about my eyes, they're, like, blue in real life. Obviously, it's not catfish. I feel like <laughs> I just did on blue. But they're not half as blue as what the camera and photos bring them up to be. On photos and your eyes always look blue, not just on selfies, like on pictures. So like I don't know different. why, it must be the camera. You <laughs> laughed at me when I said this. I said my eyes change colour, but everyone's no, eyes change colour. It's fact, isn't it? But my eyes are sometimes blue and sometimes green. green. Yeah. Mainly green and it's weird because I always used to really wish for green eyes. Remember when mm -hmm. I used to get contacts? Yeah. I used to get green contacts and now I finally got green eyes. Mate, that's like a um. Can't think of the word. They are like a bluey the green. They're more green though. Mm. Like putting something out there and it happens. Yeah, I don't know what it's called either. Do you hate any of 
my friends so like do we hate any of each other's friends no no have you ever mm. i have hated one of your friends once <laughs> <laughs> i'll be <leave> that <laughs> yeah but oh, <laughs> someone else Please don't expose me. No, but I didn't. I've never hated any of your friends, but I remember when some of them you know, I did actually. Like I, I decided that I hated your friends before you did. I was like, she's not really friends with her for long. I remember I hated <laughs> before you didn't like her. Yeah. When? Because I was friends. Feels so weird. Like yeah. I feel like they can hear me. I hated her for yeah. so long because she always used to be like really judgy. She was more of a primary school, girl, but then yeah. it was kind of like I was all right with her again at high school for a bit. Yeah. And you didn't hate her. You just wasn't your friend. Did you like um <coughs> the first time I was friends with her? Cause yeah, cause I was friends with her for a while, and then that's when you. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. And I really liked um point yeah and then i really hated her so. obviously like you really like um natalia hannah eden regan they're like my mate mates but i feel like my friends wise you really liked <laughs> when i was friends with one yeah but then you didn't like not like them for a reason until there was the yeah. reason that was kind of all of us though wasn't it we just all just... hated them at the same time because of what they yeah. did yeah there wasn't any any like friends you've had that while well, you've been friends with them, I didn't like. Yeah, and I feel like, to be fair, because there's not oh, much I wasn't of really a ages. fan of them. Um... <laughs> I know. I thought she was weird. <laughs> she was weird. And I you just didn't really stick to be friends with her. And um, I like... Yeah, we've been... I like Caitlin. Yeah, mum really likes Caitlin. Yeah. And like, obviously Jamie. Yeah, obviously. Like family -ish. Yeah. yeah. I there feel like there's certain friends that are like, they're not even like, it's not, it's not like you don't think of them as friends, but like they're like obviously my friends. To be honest, I was never really a fan of, and I'm still not now. No, fake as hell. She, she's like she only uses you for good, like if yeah. she wants to go for food with someone. Yeah, like she. I feel like for her, we've obviously bleeped out the name, but for her, and no one's gonna guess who it is because I feel like a lot of girls are like this anyway. For her, I'm only convenient when she. No, she Single. needs a good friend, to be honest. She knows that I'm a good friend. She'd rather not like me. Mm. <laughs> it's just easier and to like her. I'm a, I'm good for advice on fitness and food. Yeah. Bleep this out, but like... <laughs> like <laughs> but I don't know, just like... Friends-wise, our best best friends are our family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I've been mates like, with them. I don't see Eden as much as the other girls because Eden. Well, I did see her in sixth form, um, and obviously I've seen her stick because I dropped her a present off. Like we've, we're still friends, and I probably like will be because we were so close in high school. We've made more new friends with each other, which obviously we're fine. My friends do that. I feel like you just tend to go in like different directions in life. Anyway, I don't know why I'm so weird. Yeah, it's not like you're not allowed to. I feel like you're n you never not speak to Eden. Do you know what I mean? You'd mm -hmm. never not be friends with her. I think we're pretty much done with this video now, so Yeah. We've been ready for about twenty it. minutes. People probably been got go at that. Question I'm gonna form now like questions you're too afraid to ask your sibling. Yeah because I did ask you them but people not, just didn't come through with the juicy questions. I'm sorry. Yeah. So that's the end of our video I think pretty much done well my video I was but say, our <laughs> video because we're both in it. But if you'd like a video of like fire assumptions like Erin just said on either channel what? Channel. <laughs> on either channels and um, comment that down below if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because we've both gone past the 500 mark <laughs> we did do so uh, you subscribe to both channels i think that's pretty much it comment down below if you did what was your favorite part in this like comment share and subscribe right. see, see you both soon in our next see video see you both soon is there any two people watching <laughs> Yeah, it's only us. You're the only one who watches this video. I'll see you, Mum and Dad, right? Hope to see you soon. soon. Okay. Hope to see we you both. Hope to see you, Mum and Dad. <laughs> oh, my oh. Christ. Hey, we, we both hope to see you guys. To see you guys. Even though we won't be seeing you, you'll just be seeing us. We hope you watch our next video. <laughs> we'll see you in our... What? We'll see you in our next video. <laughs> because she doesn't give me content, I just give it to her. I'm joking. <laughs>
below ideas of videos you want to see. Okay, she's gotten me up. 